Hey everybody, we're starting a new game today. You could probably tell by the title. We're starting an absolute legendary game. My personal favorite Zelda game. Um, I I can't claim to say I've played all of them, and I'm not like the you know the biggest fan of Zelda. You know, my older brother and my younger sister are real big fans, so I'm like kind of lumped into the pile, you know. But, um, Wind Waker was one of those games that I watched, you know, my older brother play growing up. Um, so it has, like, a super special place in my heart. Um, and I've tried playing it a few times myself as, like, a kid. I don't think I've ever really finished it. I think I have, but, you know, little, little kid brain, right? So I thought, you know, I'm a full adult now. Um, I've got, you know, i got to make some new memories, so I thought we'd go ahead and play it again. Um, give it some justice, you know, say I, that I've, you know, fully played it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, again, not the biggest Zelda fan, but I know for a fact that this game is special. Um, it's not like any of the other ones. It's just, you know, we're going to go ahead and start the game. And right off the bat, we're going to start off with an intro um, that, you know, it's hard for any other game to beat. I would, like... My own bias, like, you know, maybe Chrono Cross is up there, but, man, the intro to this game is absolutely legendary. Alright, name. You know what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna stay true to to the game. Let's just go ahead and link. I know that's maybe unoriginal, um, but he is the hero of time, so we're gonna go ahead and hit up a link. But yeah, this intro right here is legendary. The, the sound is amazing, so to do it justice, I'm actually just gonna shut up. I'm gonna let you guys hear the soundtrack. You know, I'm gonna back off now. Give it some, give it its due. Thank you. 
man, y'all can make fun of me, but that song like gives me goosebumps, man. It's trying to, it's making me tear up. There's only like a very small selection of things that can make me tear up, and that's like the Cars movie, this soundtrack, and maybe my wife making fun of me. Like, ah, that's legendary. I can't even like do it justice. And um, you guys might be wondering, am I gonna read out all these dialogues? I probably will. I just won't read out the, you know. She's screaming, Big Brother. All right, I don't, I don't need, I don't need to read this to you guys. I'm sure most of you have gotten past the third grade. You guys can read that. But I will read all, you know, all the other ones. Now, I don't claim to be a voice actor here, but I'll try my best. I, but I will be using my normal voice. Um, because I am not playing a little girl. That would be weird. And I'd also probably get a divorce. So. Normal voice, David. Here we go. I knew you'd be here. Hee <laughs> hee, this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Errol's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday. Hey yo. I like his lobster shirt, that's pretty classic. That's why grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what grandma wants, don't you think? Hmm, I wonder what we're gonna receive from grandma on our birthday when we have come of age. Hmm. All right, let's go down the ladder. Now, I think I mentioned it before, but like, I remember this game as a kid, but I don't know like all this, you know, the secrets and easter eggs and tricks and glitches, so This is definitely going to be like a fairly just normal playthrough um, I'm not gonna like show you guys, you know, top 10 secret things about the game. It's gonna be a pretty standard run through here um, And I also this is the first time I've kind of gotten in so you guys are gonna have to give me like a moment to like kind of Learn the control. How do I? Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to do. I'm trying to click this rupee. I'm trying to get my bag up. All right, one rupee for cash. Look at that. Let's go buy a mansion. Get a Bugatti in my fridge. My fridge in my garage. Uh, ooh, there's a golden rupee right there. How do I jump? Can I jump? No, this is down. How do I go up? I know how to go down, but I want to go upwards. Oh, uh, well, shoot. I actually don't know. What up, little kid? What are you doing? Oh, 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 Link. Hey, is it true that if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, that you can jump to that rock out there? Is it? Tell me. Well, I mean, shoot. How do I... How do I jump? Whoops. Eel. Those little sounds. You know what? We'll figure out how to jump later. I feel like this is like toddler level education here. Well, let's, let's all learn how to jump now, but um, generally I don't really know. And again, I'm playing on a PS4 controller, so it's not, you know, it's not one to one. We'll figure it out though. Hey, what up, Grammy? What are you doing? Ooh, she upset. Ooh we got that soup. Oh, I know this stuff's delicious. Yeah, smell that from from the screen, dude. If we bring a bottle, we can get a big old tub of that. Looking forward to it, actually. I've been waiting for you, Link. Hi. Try these on. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you are already old enough to wear these clothes. Bing bong, we got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is the day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as a young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. 
hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does all this make sense to you? Yeah, I'm sure he's not very comfortable in those tights and skirt, but hey, we'll make it work. Isn't that nice, Link? They, they suit you perfectly, a perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party. So, I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma's going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister, Errol. Alright. What is it, Link? Go call Errol for me. Alright, while well, we go ahead, go back outside. I feel dumb that I don't know how to jump, but it's, it's probably a button that I haven't maybe mapped on my controller. We'll figure it out. You know, maybe after this episode, I'll just take a look at my binds. Okay, so I know there's dungeon over there. There's the pig lady over there. This is Orca's house. There's a um, mega mind up there. Well, press right here and use... Oh, so I can, like, do one of these bad boys. That's correct, you're a smart one. You, my friend, have L targeted me. You see, when you press L, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around the to target, you can press L to face forward. You know, it's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use the L targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing, if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag. Not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you like to just climb up that ladder over there and stop by my room. Shoot, brother, can you teach me how to jump? My little knees can't get off the ground. Ow. And also, I'm gonna have many concussions. I've already smacked my head in the door three times. I'm gonna go stupid by the end of this game. Hey, man, teach me how to jump. So soon, my, my, if you're already old enough to be wearing these clothes, then it's going to be very important for you to gather as much wisdom as you can from now on. If you're to make your way in the world, that is Link. Now, I've been studying a wealth of topics since long before you were born. I'm what you call a brain of all trades. You mean mega mind, right? You're a smart little fellow yourself, aren't you? I've been thinking it's time for you to pass my wisdom down. Maybe you're the one I should pass it down to. Everything that you see tacked to the walls here is something that I've researched thoroughly. And before you say yes, I do know my filing system is odd. Organization issues aside, however, it's all extremely useful information. You would do well to read it very carefully. Oh, and there's his older brother. Or younger brother, who knows. Such a racket, can't you keep quiet? You knocked everything off my shelves, you dreaded hooligan. Honestly, the hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother, who lives just downstairs. He hates studying all day every day. The lout just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No. The brain's a muscle too, I think. Anyway, the only thing he does study is the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot, as that's of any use to anyone. He simply doesn't know how to do anything besides exercise. I ask you, what's a brother to do? Alright, is one of these how to jump? By golly, I will finish. Might not be now, it might not be in a month, but I'll finish it eventually. I'm sure it's not that hard. But we should just go say hi to him, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna give me something, maybe? Question mark? Link, is that you? If I recall correctly, today you are the same age as the legendary hero. When did you get so old? You must build strong muscles from now on. Strong muscles. You have come to at the perfect moment. I was just trying my rolling attack. Allow me to teach it to you. Are you ready? Just run as fast as you can and then press A. That is how you perform a rolling attack. If you think you understand, then try to roll into the wall. Go on. Yeah, okay, I know how to bash my head. That's like step number one in everything. Such a racket, can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you dreaded hooligan. Again? And he restocked those bases quick. Ah, my brother upstairs is very high strung. He, his is the way of knowledge. He locks himself in his room and studies all day. He's quite wise, but with that big head of his, he is hardly accommodating. On top of all of it, he is very feeble at times. I am ashamed to call him my brother. But enough of that, Link. I sense the natural talent that beats in your veins. But you need more than talent to make it in the world today. You must also be bold, and to the end, I shall teach you the art of sword play. What say you? Do you wish to practice your skills with the sword? So, all right. We at least learned how to do that. So now, when we get it, we won't be much confusion on how to use it. Hey, what are you looking for in the grass? I just saw a wild pig. 
see, look, the black one there. Don't you see him? You were right on some drugs, my my guy. This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Link? Now, you can't just run up on it. Pigs are too alert about their surroundings. Okay, so I can't just run. You have to hold R, crouch, tilt to crawl. Okay, you could also distract him with bait, I guess. Where's it at, though? Oh, shoot. All right. Now, let's hit him with the... Middle Gear Solid Crawl here. You're mine. How do I grab you? Okay, so I grabbed the pig for you. Now, why didn't you take it? Alright, here. Brother. I don't... Where do you... Do you want the pig? I mean, I'm keeping it if you don't want it. Now, he said something about his wife. I don't know. Is your wife up here? I'm guessing... Oh... Your wife is the pig lady, ain't it? All right, here you go. Why, did you bring that little piglet all the way here just for me? Oh, thank you, thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet. The boys will be so happy. Okay, Link, hold out your hand. This is your reward. I'll spend it all in one place. Oh, red rupee. 20 buckaroos. Why, this little darling is cute as a button, you know. Um, you want more? No, I'll get you all the pigs you want. Wait, that was the jump? Okay. Wait a minute. I'm a little dummy. I don't think I actually jumped myself. I think Link just jumped. Yeah, Link just no. Link just jumps when he gets near something that is jumpable. That makes sense why I'm only, none of my buttons worked. See, now I feel stupid. I, all this video, I've been trying to say I've been learning to jump, but I don't. I just go, yeet. Yeah, just like that. How many rupees is this? Ten? Okay. All right, so that's why he actually was, it was pretty good. I, think, I was thinking a gold has to be worth like a hundred, right? But... All right, little stunt. Let's kill us up. What are you doing? Hey, clean your nose up, bud. Okay. Let's head up back to Errol. I can't read that. Oh, the beetle's over there. I'll have to go say hi to Beetle in a minute. Think, oh, think, oh, think, oh, think. You'd think they'd have more safety measures in place. I'm about to call OSHA. Hey, oh, yo, leave the seals. Ah, boy, big brother. Did Grandma make that outfit for you? Well, wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in these those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! Sick. Telescope, this is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure dearly. Send it to Y, X, or and use it by pressing whatever button you set it to. Do it now and see what you can see. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over at our house from here. Alright, so I gotta hit up. Um, okay, why is... Okay, it, like, took me out of the game. I gotta, I gotta figure out what to do with my cursor over here, but... Okay, so if I go over here, and let's just say I press it to Y... Okay, so which one's X? X is... Okay, so it's... Basically, this is the first, this is the last, and then... This is X. Okay, cool. Right, let's put it on Y for now. Alright, but I see I see how this works. Okay. Hey, mailman. Got something for me? Postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? No? Oh, Link, look up in the sky. Um. Oh, that's a big old bird.
Link, this is terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself. Like... Um, like a sword? Whoop. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, well, let's head back to Orca and grab our sword. Can I just fall? Okay, I didn't actually lose health there, which is kind of good. Man, you know what's one thing I love about this game? The speedruns. Speedruns are... Like, I think the Wind Waker speedruns are one of the most entertaining to watch by far. Um, I mean, I'm sure if you've ever watched any form of Zelda speedrun, you've heard of Linkus, right? Everyone has, but... Man, I used to watch Wind Waker speedruns, like, daily for months. I, I, the speedrun is really good. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen one before. Oh, what is the matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you as something happened. Whatever it is, from the look on your face, suspect it is a no laughing matter. Have you come for some serious instruction on the way of the sword? Um, oh, apparently I- Dude, don't make me do it again. I already did this, brother man, why? Oh, I gotta do this again? If I hold this, I can get yeet. Because that's a new one, actually. Punk. Next is harder. This is the parry. Okay. Pink. Okay. Alright, so these... I don't know why you didn't show me these the first time, but sure. Uh, very good. Now, finally, the jump attack. Draw your sword. Okay. Come at me once more. Now that was a fine display. And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold, an eagerness that was far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Link. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Uh, you accepted hero's sword. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let the, down the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, the sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Link. Alright. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Alright. We can head into into the forest. Now, question. What is in this house? I actually have no clue. From my all of my recollection, I have no idea what's in here. Ooh. Yep. Hold on. I see a little rupee. I don't know. A little treasure? Love me treasure. Ooh, another red rupee. Be getting rich. Huh? So what is the purpose of this house just simply to like tell us players that yo, there do be secrets lying around. You just gotta look hard enough. Alright, in short of secrets 101 is done. Another wild pig that I could bring to the lady, but um do that at some other point. Right now I'm trying to start a slash and you know pull out the blicky. Now, what are we facing? Slimes or goblins? Slimes or goblins are always the number one enemy. See, why am I acting like this is Pokemon that I can't run through grass? I'm sure there will be nothing in the grass that pops up at me. I just can't shake the feeling. What? What is up here? It's probably... 
think there is anything up here. Although it's kind of sick. Get a nice bird's eye view. Yep. Yeet. Alright, let's head towards uh, the forest here. Yep. Yeet. Down my little tree. Where are the rupees at? There's no rupees in the grass. I used to play a mobile game called Grail. That was kind of a ripoff of Zelda. There's always rupees in the grass. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and cut her down. Where are the slimes at? Where are the goblins? Oh, you're on here somewhere. Ah, yes, goblins. Okay. What's up? That man did a back flip and a half to get to me. Boopy. Actually, I, I need to become. I should probably use my targeting, right? That's probably a smart thing to do. I might need bombs to blow that up. Yup. Okay. Goblins. Alright. Alright, bro, I'm gonna jump shot each of you. What's up? Don't call me Phase Link. Quick scope. Oh, you actually got, you got a hit on me. No, my rupee! Yeah, the jump, the jump attack is fun. Although, I should probably, I should probably hit him with one of these. Back it up. Back it up, Buster. Give me the loot. Morning. Oh, there's a thing. Oh. Ouch. Wow. What's with the get up? Okay, Tetra. Spoiler, that's her name. Don't make fun of my outfit. Look at you. What are you wearing? Uh, whatever. So where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Or is it... Yeah, it is Tetra. Okay, I was like, is it Terra? Or Tetra? It's Tetra. Oh, I missed Tetra. Oh, thank goodness. You're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to the bird in full. But, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Well, that's not a very nice way to say thank you. Also, you didn't let me grab the little ball thing that the goblet dropped. Making me sad. Hey! Oi, big brother. Oh, no. Why are you so up high? That is a bad idea. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know, pirates, the terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get, it's a headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. That doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa. Just who are you? Where do you get the get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please. All I mean is to say that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, 
That poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard a word that a young girl that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea. No matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is that true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress is not the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little help here, now would it? Hmm, I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has something you could use as a shield, you know, something to protect yourself with, anything. Tell you what, you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. And one more thing, once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you'd better go say goodbye to your family while you still have a chance. Don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Alright. Boy, that man has some big old teeth. And he go fight through an apple core with one chomp, dude. Alright. First episode, we're gonna end it here. We're gonna go grab a sword and all that, but next episode.